Hi guys, um, I'm Nikki Startip and I've got some really exciting news. Um, I've been discovered. Um, I'm going to be managed by the guy who manages the guy who manages Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Um, you might be wondering what happened to Tim. Well, I had to let him go because um, you guys let me know in the comments section that Nick took over last week's video again and that was the last straw for me. So I said, you know what? Stuff you, Tim, and stuff Nick. Stuff you all. Um, I'm going to go off and get famous and I've done that. So I'm going to be rubbing shoulders with um, people like Jennifer Aniston and Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Garner, um, basically all the Jennifers. Now, I just do want to say something. Um, as soon as I touch down in LA, I'm going to be really famous. Um, I probably definitely will be. But um, if you guys see me in the street, don't be tempted to say hello. Just give me my space, please. Um, you know, I, I'm just because I'm a famous person, it doesn't mean you can just, you know, um, say hello. I prefer that you just... Um, take photos from a distance. So this week's Halloween video is a basic witch drink. So it's like a potion, it's like a really fun idea for Halloween. Um, and so this is how to make it. Okay guys, so I may have called Nikki Startip anonymously earlier this week and pretended to be an agent in LA. And guys, look, it's been a horrific week with her. She's just out of control. So I needed to do something. Now the ingredients you're gonna to need to make these really cool Halloween drinks is some soy lethicin, I hope I'm saying that right, some little green sprinkles, some powdered gelatin, white chocolate, apple juice or lemon cordial, some red raspberry jello or jelly, some hot water, thickened cream, some green food dye and some yellow food dye and some white chocolate. And guys, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I upload two new videos a week. Now to start off with, we're gonna make our white chalk eyes. So I've got some melted chocolate here, which I popped into a piping bag. I'm gonna make some small dollops onto some baking paper. Now you wanna work quickly, guys, to get those green sprinkles on there before they set completely. Once you've made about 20 of them, set them aside to set. We're gonna move on to making our blood worms which sit at the bottom of our drinks. So add your hot water to a large jug, along with your jelly or jello powder. Mix that in really, really well. Now you wanna add some water to that gelatin powder. Let it set or sit for about five minutes and then you wanna add it into that jelly liquid and mix it in until it's completely melted. Now, just like last week, I've got a tall container which I've tightly packed with some straws. Now, you want that bendy bit to be facing up. We're going to pour that jelly liquid down them, fill them up as much as you can. Put these in the fridge for about two to three hours to set completely. Overnight is best. Now, once these have completely set, you want to squeeze them out with your fingers. We're going to move on to making our frog spawn froth. So add some warm water to a large jug along with that soy lethicin powder. Mix that until it's semi-dissolved. It doesn't really completely dissolve. You can add some green food dye. That's completely optional. And guys, I'm using a stick blender or a bar mix to froth the top of this liquid. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can use a food blender. Um, but basically, you want to make it nice and frothy. We're going to move on to making our green goo. So add some cream to some white chocolate. Microwave that for about 20 seconds at a time, mixing each time until it's nice and smooth. Then you can add some green and yellow food dye. Mix that until it's well combined. We're going to dip the top of our jars in that green goo ganache. And we're going to tap it gently on top of our bench just to help that green ganache drip down the jar now, while it's still wet, you want to stick on your chalk eyes 
all around the top of the jar. Add your bloodworms in the bottom of the jar before you pour in some apple juice. Add some green food dye, which is completely optional. It's up to you, but I think it looks really, really cool with the green food dye. And you wanna finish these off with that frog spawn froth. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so that was my basic witch potion Halloween drink. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to off, I'm going to go off and be famous. So I leave tomorrow. Um, Dale's packing all of my stuff right now. I had to bring him back in just for today. Um, just, you know, because I can't pack my own things. I'm too famous to do that now. You guys are probably going to see me in movies and magazines and stuff. You, know, you can cut out my face and like put it up on walls and stuff if you want. Um, but I'll see you guys soon, guys. Um, bye.